Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. We're going to crash some bunk time before we head over to the Emperor's Tomb. You wake with a start, your limbs bound up in a sweaty tangle of linen bedsheets. An incredible sorrow swells in your chest. Oh, I must have had a nightmare. You feel empty, half-starved, and alone. Fragmentary memories of a half-remembered dream filt through your mind. They're already fading away to nothing. Eh, we gotta chase the memories. We need to find what's causing all this. You close your eyes and concentrate, willing yourself to keep the dream from slipping away. Gradually, the memory comes back to you. The Walled City. You were back in the Walled City. You don't remember how you got there, but it couldn't have been any place else. Even the barons weren't so squalid. You remember craning your neck to look above you. The buildings that made up this part of the Walled City were new construction, even cheaper than the old. Now their foundations had rotted out from under them, and the buildings leaned into one another like a gang of drunken men. A rain of plaster and asbestos sprinkled down, dusting your shoulders. You began to creep forward, picking your way past the piles of refuse and debris, past the pimps and the dumpster fires, the broken glass and the dirty needles. The air reeked of rot and sewage and industrial waste, a disgusting melange that caught in your sinuses and crawled down your throat. You gagged on the stink, but it didn't slow you down. In the back of your mind, you knew that you had no reason to be doing this. There was nothing for you in the walled city. You shouldn't have been there. But the rest of you was hungry, unbearably, indescribably hungry. And that part of you knew that if you kept moving, you'd finally get to eat. As you forced your way deeper into the walled city, locals stood at their windows and stared. Some of them dropped to their knees, but you kept moving. You could see something in the distance, a silhouette. Something enormous, at least twice the size of a troll, but delicate. It was beautiful. The huge figure beckoned you, gesturing with a slender limb. An explosion of warmth filled your chest, and you knew that, only be, that if only you could reach it, your problems would be over. It, she, would make all of your sorrows disappear. You moved forward at a crawl, but the figure felt impossibly far away. You reached out, calling to her, and... Where's the teeth? There's always teeth. And then you woke up. The empty feeling in your stomach slowly fades, taking the strength and vibrance of the memories along with it. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, we had a dream. Let's check real quick to make sure if anyone else did. I doubt it. Yeah, everyone's doing their thing. Let's go ahead and head over to the Emperor's Tomb. Do our little smash and grab operation. Now, where exactly do we need to go? Go to the Emperor's Tomb, which I believe is this way. Yeah, that leads to the Mahjong Parlor, so... Hustle, hustle, Sean. Time is money to Shadowrunners. There you are. Alrighty. Board the train. Now, who are we going to take on this little trip? Head to the outskirts of Tai Po to loot a dig site and museum for Mr. Drake. So, we need three folks with us. Let's go ahead and leave Ractor. Let's get Duncan, because we haven't had Duncan. Um, I don't think ISO would be a lot of help here. So let's get Gobbit and the new kid on the block. Let's get Gaichu. And he has Hand Forged Katana and the HMHVV Infected Claws. And do we have uh, Eos? Oh, it's Felicia Day! Huh! Brent, X-Flow. Where's the, uh... I thought there was uh, someone that we talked to. Oh, no, X-Flow. Yeah, the physical magician. Alright, well, we've got everyone that we need to. How much was X-Flow for? 450? Nah. I got a good crew right here. So let's go ahead and confirm. And travel to the Emperor's Tomb. I haven't watched that movie, uh, The Mummy, Curse of the Dragon Emperor. 
I I've heard mixed things. I've heard a lot of people say it was better than two, but anyway, the dig. This job is a golden opportunity in more ways than one. A raid of the in development or in development museum, the Emperor's Tomb. The museum's claim to fame is its location. It rests on top of ancient catacombs where an excavation is underway to convert them into the museum proper. Intel has it the workers are dying. Not from on-site accidents, but from magical disturbances in the area. Despite the hazards, development continues. Your client, Mr. Drake, contacted you to retrieve two tomes. Probably ancient, magical, priceless. But it won't be a smash in the park. You have to get to the tomes before they're cataloged, where they're afterward be near impossible to access. As you near the museum, its heightened grandeur looms unsettling over you. Even unfinished, it's reaching an imposing size. At least that means it has plenty of room for pricey antiques. The best part? Mr. Drake needs this run to look unprofessional. Shattered glass and looting is encouraged. Alright, well we will loot all the things then. So, everything's decent on our gear. Looks good. Let's do, well, actually, let's look at the rest of the team. Do, 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 do. Two med packs. We got gobbit for heals. So we gotta be we gotta be careful here. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get through this in one piece. And maybe Gaichu can slice the people opposing us into pieces. I guess it'll. Here we go. Entry worked just like Drake said. You creep into the dark, unfinished site. Your comm link clicks in your ear, connecting a call. Good. Now I'll be appraising that you see what you see as you go through this door. Grab the best stuff and my alarm suppression should keep you afloat. Just don't get too ballsy. If the books haven't been cataloged yet, they'll still be in the basement, the tomb. I'll be in touch. The earpiece clicks off, call disconnected. You didn't even stay on the line long enough for you to get a word in. Your team powers up the nearby generator. Work lights along the new marble flooring sleepily flicker to life and everyone surveys the site. Gaichu tilts his head upward toward the light. The work lamps act as lighthouses for his blind eyes, exposing the layout of the hall. He takes in a deep breath of the dusty air. There is nothing alive in these walls but us. A welcome change. Welcome? But don't you need, uh, food? I'm always hungry. But the less meat I'm surrounded by, the more I can focus. I'm trying to watch my waistline too, buddy. Just lost two kilos since I stopped shoveling down Mr. Lou's juicy pork buns. She placed a hand on her stomach. Man, just talking about it is making me hungry. Let's get going. Very motley crew we have here. Alarm threshold, 0 out of 10. Valuable stolen, 0 to 5,000 new yen. Oh. Interesting. Well, let's see what we can do here. Now, we probably needed to bring ISO. But we just do not have the... Ancient Voss 650, Neanderthal Skeleton 1200, Valuable Urn, King's Ashes, Royal Flower Pot, Replica Voss, Plesiosaur Jawbone. Oh, look at all the things that we can grab. Okay, so we have a 5,000 limit. Do we have anything that's 800? Yes. So we will grab the Neanderthal Skeleton. And the authentic raptor skull. Okay. And then... Let's head down and see if there's anything here in the south. That we can grab. Because I saw vases and such. Do, 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 do. Dragon scales. Mummified head. And that's 1400... So, 1600 and we should be good. So, let's see what we can get to actually even us out to 1600 without setting off any of the alarms. There's 900. 980. Well, how much is that? That's like a replica Voss, isn't it, for 12? 
Hmm. Give me one second. Let me do a little bit of math here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take this, which gives us 950 before we hit the max. And we will slip down here. And I think there is one more artifact that gives us 950. Yeah, the mummified head. Bam. 5,000 new yen worth of artifacts. And that gave us a karma, too. Valuable stolen 10,000. Huh? All right. Well, there's the dig site. Let's go ahead and see what other wonderful things we can grab. Check bookshelf. This must be the curator's office. And we don't have a decker, unfortunately. The painting with a plaque beneath it reads The Lady of Shalat 1888. And this bookshelf is made from your standard st stained wood. It's filled with books by famous poets, both English and Chinese. Strength 5. Check for anything unusual. You throw the books from the shelves and then break each shelf in half, exposing the back of the bookshelf. A knock on the back panel reveals a hollow space behind the fixture. Fixture. That's unusual. <laughs> Sean Smash. Oh. That was an alarm. Not good. What did we find, though? Maybe this is where they clean everything? These firearms are relics as well. Maybe of value to a history professor. Hmm. Imbued potter. Oh, jackpot. Mystic staff, imbued pottery. That is a pretty penny of stuff right there. Okay, cool. Let's go in here, see if there's... No. <laughs> the curator's secret snack chamber. And finally, let's open this door. And see. Now, Gaichu said that there was no one here. There's a security terminal. Um, let's see what happens. Terminal is powered off. Okay, we walk away. Should we go check the curator's computer? And that should get us without the alarm going off, I'm hoping. Welcome, Lao Zheng. Please input your password to log in. Access the login field. Okay, we'll cancel that. It might be something to do with this painting. The Lady of Shalott, 1888. Hmm. That's a strong possibility, but I don't want to set off the alarm. So let's just see if we can grab the big stuff. We have 5,000 to work with. And that's going to come out to 4,750. So Mystic Staff, Imbued Pottery. And that gives us 250 to go. Let's be real professionals about this. Because we're alarm threshold is at 8. And now that I kind of know what I'm doing here. So, is there anything here that was 250? Maybe. Let's check. And it doesn't look like we can get through there. That's probably what that terminal is for. 900, 420, 300, 12, 980. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and grab maybe the king's ashes. There we go. And some extra karma. Cool. Works for me. And I think that we have gone as high as we can, so let's go ahead and head downstairs. Game saved. We gave ourselves a, not a whole lot of breathing room. And we're, oh, that's not 
That's not nice. That's probably going to come back. This reminds me of the catacombs we had to go through before uh, near the end of Dragonfall. No, sir. Oh, never mind. That was all... Hi, gargoyle and mummified corpse. Let's head this way, then. And pick up... Oh, these must be the manuscripts in question. Knock, knock. What we got? Ancient book. That's one. And we did see the gargoyle and whatnot. We are going to deal with that. We just... Oh, trying to be thorough. I'm hearing all kinds of creepy, creepy noises. Here's a catwalk, a shipping terminal. We don't have a decker, so that's out of the question. Let's try it back around here. And, oh, we can't get back behind there. Never mind. So it looks we, we like we are going to be fighting here in a second. And where are they? They're right around here near the big dragon skull. Alright, so be it. And we got something there that Iso can summon, if need be. <laughs> do you see that? I do see that. And I see a guy who's been ripped to shreds. So, let's go ahead and go into combat mode and get the jump on these guys. We're going to... Hmm... Let's do killing hands on myself. Iso, let's do haste on Sean. And let's start this off right. We're gonna go up and do killing hands on the mummified corpse or the gargoyle. Let's go ahead and take out the gargoyle. Hiya! Oh! I like the music. Uh, beanbag shot's probably not going to work against these guys, I'm afraid. So, let's get Wu into position. Gaichu! Indeed. It's time that we see what you are capable of. What do you have for magics? Active defense. Gaichu uses his elite red samurai training to temporarily bolster his defense. Heaven stance. Both critical chance and critical multiplier are raised. So he has warrior stances, like in WoW. Hmm. Okay. No positives or negatives. Let's go... Let's go to Water Stance. And... Yeah, let's attack the... Uh, Pre-Natural Corpse. Let's do that guy. He probably has the range, I would imagine. Whoops, that's not a good first impression. Ow! What happened? Wu, Wu yelled at something, you yelled something, and I don't know what he yelled. Holy crap! Okay, so we are in another world. That is interesting to know. Um, let's do Manifest. Oh, there we go. And Gargoyle, you get a punch as well. For 22. Where did they go? Yeah, I hear that. Where did they go? And line of sight's blocked, obviously. Alright. Let's rush up here, and we're just going to do an aimed rifle shot. And Gobbit... I really would like you to take cover, Gobbit, but I understand that you can't. Let's just have her rush up here with her little minigun. You know, Gaichu, you should feel right at home here. Let's go ahead and get our active defense up and go up and slice this guy. There we go. 
He's almost dead. And Wuja <laughs> Gunsho dodged. So he's probably dead in the next turn. Uh oh. Is that another teleporter? We need to get we need to keep Gobbit away from there at all cost. And hello there, new gargoyle. So we got waves coming in. Ow. Here's a mana fist in your face. For 20. And that kills him outright. I love that. Can we go ahead and finish off this guy? Nice punch. There we are. Oh, he bleeds. Well, actually, this worked out relatively well. Now, how much is it going to cost to summon? Gobbit? What are we summoning? Avalanche. You look awesome. Doing HP and AP damage. Um, let's do... Yeah. If we get you with your lack of AP... We don't have to worry that much about people teleporting to another realm, and you have a lot of action points. I like it. All right, Gaichu, let's go ahead and finish finish this guy off. There you are. Now, let's go ahead and use your lone med pack. Well, no, we need to get you into the action. And Gobbit is probably going to take a fireball. Oh no! Distracted by the elemental. Good, 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 good. So far, so good. Alright. Actually, Sean, you heal yourself. And we're going to pick up the ancient book. And now we just have to survive, so I'm going to go ahead and take cover around here and take a slight powder. Full auto fire. That that works. Any port in a storm. Um, Gobbit. We need to get you. There we go. Get you behind cover like so. Let's get the avalanche out here first. We're gonna stun you. Punch you in the face. And continue to punch you. And now it's just us. Oh! Did he just disappear? I think he just disappeared. Yep, he just disappeared. Run up here, Gaichu. Get some cover. From this fireball that's about to hit. Ow! Ha ha ho! That's not nice. How's my haste? There we are. Okay, Sean. Can we manifest? Oh, nothing's in range. Alright. Um. We will run up here and now we can manifest nope oh well fan it's gonna punch you then and woo please you're gonna shoot Sean but it's okay it should be everything you're able to do oh Sean you missed the manifest, my friend. And... Cool. Find both ancient books. Mr. Drake crack crackles. Or your comlink crackles. Mr. Drake does not crackle. You got the books. Great. Next you need to head upstairs so I can wipe the security data. Then you're home free. Got it. Security rooms at the top of the stairs leading back into the museum floor. I click in your comlink and he's gone again. Hmm. I don't know about this, guys. 
I have a feeling we might be set up for something, but in the meantime, we need to, uh, where are we on our health and such? Hit points. Ooh, everything got all messed up there. There we go. All right, let's activate on me. The most basic med kit heals you or any team member. Yeah. Confirm for 10. And we can top it off if we absolutely need to. So let's get out of here. Whoops. You guys can probably see that. I don't know what that... There we go. In a cadaverous husk materializes in front of you, unfolding like a flower from nothingness into being. It stands with a surprisingly upright posture, and you can see that its robes were once of fine quality. It raises a hand to block your path. Here comes the moral quandary. Stop. The thing's voice comes out in a hollow rasp. Something about it feels empty. It seems you can move freely through this realm, coming and going, taking what is not yours. Who are you? I was an assistant to a great man, an emperor. I was meant to continue assisting him in the afterlife, but something was unsettled. Bonds were broken. He is no longer here, and I wish to search for him elsewhere. I want out of this tomb. I must free myself from this place, but I cannot leave. My soul is bound to these catacombs, chained to the bones of a life that I no longer possess. Okay, this place is bizarre. What is happening down here? The books that you carry, they are alive. They protect themselves, distort space, and draw creatures to them who will serve. Our exalted had the will to contain them. Wherever you intend to send them, I hope that an equally strong mind will keep them under control. So you think I can get you out of here somehow? You can. Slowly, painfully, the mummy inclines its head. It reaches into the folds of its robes and produces a, a ring of fired porcelain. The creature extends its arm, pressing the object as an offering. Take this talisman and place it among the other artifacts you have removed. Once you have moved it beyond the binding thr threshold of this excavation, I will be free. Now let's say I, that I do this. What's in it for me? The sure knowledge that you have done what is right. How do I know I can trust you? There's a long pause. You don't. How could you? But I am a man of my word. You're going to have to do better than that. When I am free, I will give you a thing. A token. Crumble it in your hands and I will come to your aid. But only once. One time and no more. The mummy's eyeless socket seems to stare into you. Through you. Will this be sufficient, troll? Will you accept my offer? Okay, sure, why not? Thank you. The mummy inclines its head. I will be forever in your debt. Now, let's inspect the signs as we apparently did not last time. Do not enter. Well, good to know. So the alarm has still not gone off. That's good. Everything's coming up Millhouse. And security terminal. Terminal is powered off. This is the one. Flip the switch on the bottom right, then plug in my data trip chip. The script will doctor the security lock so we can sneak you out. It's executing now. There's a long pause, and you can hear him clicking his tongue like a metronome. And done. Get out of there. Alrighty. I'm sure no one's going to be here to stop us from leaving. Heavens no. Not with all this cover and the dragon lines. Yep. <laughs> Dang you, Shadowrun. Well, we tried. Interesting stuff, though. Buckle up, indeed. I thought we were through the worst of it. Nope, not the case. Let's get into these... Yes, dragon lines, good. Killing hands, better. 
Okay, Duncan, you know what to do. You just take some cover behind here. And everything should be coming up Millhouse. Unless we can try and find better cover, but I don't think there is any. Yeah, let's just go ahead and call that good. Gobbit, I need you to get behind here. And I don't think there's anything that we can summon. So you'll... Oh, you can't heal anyone. Alrighty. Actually, aim accuracy to Duncan, because why not? And Gaichu, for the moment. You hang out here. And this is for two rounds. Will armor increase? And if it's just these three, then we should be okay, unless there's multiple waves. They got some long range on them, though. One guy's got a shotgun. It's not advisable. Now, basically what we have to do is we have to just move our way up a little at a time. While Duncan takes care of some of the rapid fire work. Like so. And Gobbit, I'll tell you what, since you're really not doing... Let's give Duncan the haste. Take out the HKPF guard. And... Yep, so far so good. Oh, can we get to slicing? Let's get to slicing. Thirteen. Stance Water 2. And a miss. We'll have Sean. Yeah. Sean, it is time that we deal with this lady right here. With Killing Hands. Duncan, there's no one. Oh, we can shoot them. Good. Right around the barrels. And one more shot to grow on. Ah, almost. Gobbit, can you do any better with that little Uzi of yours? There we go. We just needed a little, a little shot. Cool. Let's increase Gaichu's aim. So, he can slice and dice. And I like the fact that he has unique melee, um, uh, unique melee animations. That is very cool. All right, Sean, punch! Ah, uh, let's move the crew up. I don't know if you can get a shot from this far away, Wu. Oh, yes, you can. You are a champion. That's why they call him Gun Show, I guess. Now, finish him off. A familiar voice pipes up in your communicator. Change of plans. Search those keys for a key fob. You'll need to access the side door. What side door? In the lobby. My pro program didn't work as well as I expected. I've been monitoring the exits on my cameras, and the HKPF have the front locked down. Since you can't get out of the front now, you've got to exit out the side. That key will get you through the locked side door, which will take you out the east service exit. Smelling a lot of if coming off this plan. Okay, guys. Well, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and head this way. Everything else is locked down. And here's more cover. Hmm. Shall we holster? Yeah, we might as well. I really want to get to those dragon lines. Let's go ahead and haste up Sean. Can you get to them, Sean? Ah, you can get to one of them, but you're going to be a sitting... Oh, there we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, Duncan. Looks like we're going to be in half cover. No worries. Gaichu, you have one med pack. Let's go ahead and use that on yourself. Get yourself back up. And 
take half cover so you can rush up later. And Gobbit already did her. Ow! Just a nick, though. And I am flanked, unfortunately. Gobbit, let's get behind this cover. And what do I need to do here with you, Sean? Add plus one body, plus one strength. Damage by four for five rounds of combat, but strength is reduced by one. Let's use Toko. Why not? And we still got two, so we can go ahead and try and take out the sniper. Let's do that. Provided we can actually hit the sniper. Duncan. That's nasty. And Gaichu. Slice and dice. Come on. There we go. That's better. Please leave my monk alone. Or my physical adept. Owie! Quit focusing your fire. Uh, manifest, yes. Ah, yes indeed. And that'll put Sean behind cover. Which is what I needed to do. And... Why not? We're 14. Duncan, we need to focus on this sniper, my friend. There we are. That's what we needed. Can we heal... Wounded 9. Not in range, though. Gobbit, we're gonna take a risk with you. There we go. Now, while the HKPF Enforcer... Let's finish off the Sniper. Now what are you gonna do, Mr. Shotgun? You're gonna miss. Cool. I am okay with that. And now Duncan should finish him off. No loot or anything, nothing to inspect. And I'll just take the side exit. You're about to leave this location and return to Hawaii. Continue? Indeed. Well, hold on a second. Do we have everything that we need? Do not trip the museum alarm and escape. Looks like everything's good over here. Awesome. Who? Your adrenaline wanes as you fly through the subway tunnels on your way back to Hoi. There isn't much left to do but pick the shards of glass off your clothes and congratulate yourself on one hell of a run. It's just too bad you couldn't keep the looted antiques. By the end, you'd manage to steal over 10,000 new yen worth of items for your client, a number that will hopefully be reflected in your mission pay. It better be. The damage you cause will likely set the museum's development back even farther. Not enough to cripple the project, just enough to send a message. But at the end of the day, you still manage to break a lot of exhibits, displays, and even the faces of a few tomb crawlers, the presence of which you have conveniently slipped Drake's mind. Surprises aside, you came out on top, and thanks to some quick thinking on Drake's part, you got the books, and you got out. Well, I would say that would be a successful run, guys. Now let's go ahead and return to the loveliness of beautiful downtown Hoi. And then we can talk to Drake and see what exactly is going on here. And we got eight karma. So we will go ahead and check up on this in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.